What is up, ladies and gentlemen? How's it going? This is Matt Tomato right here. Cheers for tuning in. Hope you're all doing extremely well. And uh, we are continuing here with Crash Team Racing, Coco Bandicoot's attempt to save the world. Uh, we have won the Yellow Gem Cup with a race to spare. We're now just doing the spare race here, which is Oxide Station. And uh, yeah, we'll move on to the purple one after this. Uh, but yeah, gone, uh, it's gone really well so far. Uh, no hiccups along the way. Uh, we've won every single race in the uh, the Gem Cup so far. So uh, yeah, no mis no. Well, we've had some battling wins. Uh, we had the win on Puppy's Pyramid where we nearly lapped Crash Bandicoot, uh, which was kind of funny. Uh, we had that excellent uh, fight uh, at Tiny Arena uh, in the last episode, in fact, um, which was bloody amazing. I thought that was really fun. Uh, so yeah, we've had a mix of different uh, things here. Oh, zero gravity with Aku Aku. It's got a little bit dicey. Oh, could have easily fallen off the end there. And Cortex overtook me on that jump. Oh, God. Like, that is... That, I can't believe he overtook me on that jump. That's, that's just how insane the, uh, the AI is boosted up. Oh, that would have been a good hit if I'd got him there. Okay. It doesn't matter, actually. I'm, I'm in this duel with Cortex here. Uh, everyone else is quite far behind, but it doesn't matter because I've already won this one. I've already won this gem cup, so... Uh... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> he actually uh, fired a bowling bomb into the nitro there. I heard the bowling bomb, and then I heard the smash, and I was like, well, no one got hit. Um, so yeah, that was a smart play, actually. Zero gravity! I love this bit. Well, it's not zero gravity, but it's a lack of, you know, it's, it's more like on the moon. Because if there was zero gravity, then you would just take off, but, uh... Right. Yeah, built up a lead here now. Bloody hell, I was going to say, how the hell is that hitting me? <laughs> okay. It's not quite as... I, I, I really love this circuit, but it's not quite as exciting because there's nothing riding on this race. But uh, nonetheless, we built up a little bit of a lead here, so... Uh, all good. Keep picking up these turbo boosts from the boxes, which is kind of nice. I prefer to have nitros, though. Now, what are you going to do about that? Unbelievable. Three red bottles. <laughs> No one hit any of those two nitros. I thought they were absolute blinders. Cortex is still not that far behind, you know. Wow. If I made a blunder, if I'd have hit that red bottle, I would have actually been in quite a bit of trouble because Cortex was uh, not very far behind. So... But as I said, nothing riding on it, so it didn't matter. Uh, yes, excellent. Okay, that's the yellow gem cup in the bag. And now, we're going to take on the purple one. I love the purple one. I could play the purple gem cup over and over and over again for hours. It's so funny. So you're probably thinking, well, hang on. So if you haven't played this game before, you're probably thinking, well, hold on. You've played all of the, you know, the circuits... And um, we played all the circuits, we played all the regular circuits with all the trophies, and yet there's still another four races to go. So what could, what could possibly be there? So when I was younger, I would deliberate for ages as to what it might be. I thought there would be new circuits, and it would throw you like under the bus with new circuits. That's what I thought it would be, and it wasn't. But... When it when I went into it and it the, the first thing appeared, I, I just immediately went, oh my god, this is amazing. 
So here we go with the purple gem cut. So you just thought, what could what could this possibly be? And it was certainly not what I expected, but it was amazing. It's bloody amazing, this. You get to race all of the bosses on the... S <laughs> it's amazing! You take on all of the bosses at once. Oh, my God. Of course, they don't have the unlimited weapons that they do in uh, the boss races but all of the bosses what a genius idea whoever came up with this idea is legendary and look how bloody fast they are as well you just uh, it's just stupid of course you're on their home circuits as well so we're on ruse tubes this is ripper ruse and you just race them on their own circuits and you take them all on at the same time oh my god it's just ridiculous but it's amazing like, it's just such a good idea, and it, I never thought this this would be what it would what it was. I, I was guessing for ages, and in the end, as soon as that, as soon as it revealed, it's oh my god! Actually, look, Aku Aku, I fired Aku Aku in third place, and I didn't catch up at all. Yes, that is very helpful. <laughs> okay, got a lead here. Oh. Activated that at the correct time. Oh my god. Race against all of the bosses. It's just such a... I cannot emphasise what a cool idea this is. Okay, first one is in the bag. Not too much difficulty there, actually, which is quite good. Okay, excellent. <laughs> oh, man. There we go. So, naturally, of course, only five races. So, uh, yeah, only five sets of points up for grabs. But Okay, so Komodo Joe finished in uh, second place. That's worth keeping an eye out for. So, uh, if it come, if we're in third, we've got a bowling bomb and we can hit one of Komodo Joe or someone else, then we're probably going to hit Komodo Joe. Demote him down and put ourselves into second, you know, that sort of thing. So, right, Papu's Pyramid. Still the fastest off the line. <laughs> Sorry, Ripper Root. You happen to be there. Ugh. Good start, actually. Oh. Uh, oh, dear. Haha. <laughs> um... Komodo Joe and Papu Papu have just been eaten by plants, so they are miles behind. Uh, so Komodo Joe being in last is absolutely perfect, although Papu Papu's just been eaten. Uh, I can see the dot has frozen. There he is, he's down there. <laughs> so Ripperoo is currently uh, closest here. Risk. Yeah, there was a risk. I was running out of power. Uh, Pinstripe has just been eaten as well. So, uh, it's between myself and Ripper Roo here at this point in time. Oh, what a shot that was. <laughs> power sliding around the corner. Oh. I don't think there's any way. Yeah, there was no way in hell he was ever going to avoid that. Uh, yeah, everyone's spread out all over the place because they keep getting eaten by the plants. Can't believe no one's hit that TNT. Right, I'm flying ahead now, yeah. Oh, Ripper has just been eaten as well. That's perfect. Bam! Yeah! Excellent stuff. Okay, with Komodo Joe finishing last as well, that's even better. Because um, it means, obviously, his six points are now basically all the way at the back. So, yeah, we're way ahead here, actually. Actually, we're further ahead 
than we've ever been at this stage of where the other gem cups. Yeah, because we have one where I think Dingo Dial had seven, Crash had nine, Polar had nine as well. So, yeah, yeah, we're we, we're further ahead than we than we've been. Bloody Dragon Mines though. Calls Komodo Joe's home circuit. Could all go wrong here, as we've seen. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good spot for that. Excellent. Uh, so it was uh, it was Ripperoo that was uh, our closest challenger, wasn't it? So, oh god, big ass Papu Papu right on my backside. Gee whiz, to follow a restraining order. <laughs> he hit the TNT. Unfortunately, he didn't blow up, but he has backed away now, funnily enough, ever since I said that. <laughs> Slower way to take that. Oh, hey, Ripper Roo got blow blown. Oh, no. Shit. Say good night. <laughs> Pinstripe. Crap. I did say this is where it could all fall apart. Jesus Christ. That was mine as well. Oh, equally, this could be where it all goes right. Come on. Bam. Perfect. Yep, it's all gone right. <laughs> it went wrong and then it went right. Excellent. So Komodo Joe finishing second is kind of okay because he was out of the running anyway. And uh, so as a result, we have bagged the purple gem cup. Good stuff. Okay. Oh, it's fun. So fun. Not quite... Some see sometimes I've raced the purple gem cup in the past and it's been an absolute blast because they drive like lunatics and they just fire everything at you. I've not quite had that here. They've actually been fairly passive, which is really odd because um, there have been times in the past where they've been so aggressive when I've raced and they're, they're just absolute nut jobs. No, not quite been like that, actually. Jesus. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> oh, Ripper is funny as well. I quite like him. Flippin' hell. Right, Komodo Joe's off on a charge at this point, but uh Did Ripper Roo fall off? Yes he did. The timing on that was impeccable. If they go over ramps, that's the thing, if they go over ramps whilst they're in the air, if you activate the time thing to slow everybody down, then they all drop off. It's brilliant. <laughs> oh man. Bloody hell. Oh, that was close. That was really close. I nearly got him there. Something, somebody blew up over there. I think it was Papu Papu. Just saw that. Oh, Komodo Joe, you little shit. Oh my god, I thought it was going to fall off there as well. Wouldn't that have been an amazing shot? <laughs> right. Revenge is sweet. <laughs> 
Oh, that's mine. <laughs> yeah, Komodo Joe proving to be the most aggressive so far. So I placed two beakers and a nitro at the start of the lap there. And not one of them got hit. Oh! Gee, that was close. He nearly hit that. Yeah, Komodo Joe being particularly aggressive and I ended up falling over. Watch your back! Oops. So suck. <laughs> I just waited. And the only reason I waited was because I was quite sure he was going to hit that green bottle that was there. But he didn't. So as soon as he started veering away, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm going to fire this now. <laughs> uh, Pinstripe's going to finish second, actually. Oh, that's good. Good for him. Because uh, he did really bad, <laughs> mostly. Oh, excellent. Okay, oh, that's amazing. It's so good uh, to do that. It's, uh, it's really, really fun. Right then. Uh, how much of time? Okay, I think what we'll do... <laughs> Komodo Joe. Brilliant. So, uh, all we have to do now is uh, the final special race, uh, which is here, and um, Oxide. And then we'll have done it. So, uh, I think what I'll do is I'll end this episode right here, because we had a, uh, a slightly longer episode last time. So, I'll end this episode right here, so then we get a proper episode in, so we can do this final special track, which is wicked, by the way. Um, and then we'll um, we'll face Oxide, uh, and that will be the uh, the closing closing episode, I think. So that's it for now. So cheers for watching, guys. Uh, join me in the next episode for the final episode of Crash Team Racing here with Coco Bandicoot. See you later. <laughs>